Been kicking goals today, kicking some editing goals, so it's super boring, but I came across this one thing that I figured out ages ago, and I thought I might share it with you just in case you didn't know. So sometimes when you go off and you buy a USB, brand spanking new USB, uh, you plug it in and you're like, sweet, I'm just gonna put uh, my finished video onto this USB to send it off to a client or something like that, uh, and then all of a sudden you try and drag over that file to the USB and it comes up with a message. This file can't be copied because it's too large for the volumes format. What? What does that mean? <laughs> but hold on a second, I just bought a 32 gigabyte USB and the file that I'm transferring over is only a 20 gigabyte file. So using my fairly basic knowledge of mathematics, it should fit, right? Don't stress out though, we can still use the USB and copy over that large file into the 32 gigabyte USB. Uh, we just need to format the USB first. So I'm pretty sure it's mainly like a Mac problem because most of the USBs all kind of come with Windows, um, with a Windows format already inbuilt in them. Um, so super easy fix up, you just need to format it. So head on up to the search bar, click in disk utilities, open up disk utilities, and then you're gonna highlight the USB that you wanna format. Once you've got that, um, type in the name that you want for the USB, it can be whatever you want. And then in that drop down menu, you want to click a format that works for you. So for me, I'm sending footage off to clients. I'm not sure whether they've got a Mac or a PC. So I'm gonna choose XFAT. So XFAT just means that it can be read on both Windows and Mac. Not sure why there's any other format ever, but yeah, click erase. All things going well, it should just erase that and then you're done and you can copy it over. When I was actually uh, recording the screen when I was doing this, um, I had to erase it twice. So the first time it said erase failed and now you can't use the USB. Don't panic, uh, click erase again. So once you click erase again, it should, um, it should fully erase it, bring it back to the right format and now you're in XFAT format on your USB and that's it. So just be warned, I'm not 100% sure on where this kind of lies with the warranty of USBs and all that kind of stuff. So before you go changing the format and everything like that, you know, just make sure you're 100% sure that you need to do uh, this. But I mean, I personally haven't had any struggles with it and this is how I've done it for a while. This is how I get videos that are la too large to send over the internet because we're in Australia and the internet sucks here. I just put it on a USB, whatever size fits the best, 1632, 64, whatever. Um, chuck it in a little envelope and send it on its way and then they can open it no matter what, whether it's PC or Mac or all that kind of jazz. So hopefully this helps out. Have you guys tried this before? Have you, do you have a better workaround? I'm sure you could probably go to the SanDisk website and sign your life away and they'll be like, yep, here's a special program that you can use to unlock your USB, I have no idea, to be honest. But uh, let me, yeah, let me know. Also just let me know if this is helpful. I don't know if this is helpful, it was, you know, helpful for me to find out for the first time because then I could, you know, do it all the other times. Um, but yes, that would be great, let me know. Okay, that's it, okay, bye.